Well, it's May 22nd. Sun's out. I can't believe it, man. It's the first time in weeks. Anyway, we've got two days of sun and then it's back to rain. Maybe a, a subtropical depression coming through. So I'm getting back out to Black Point. Going to check it out, see what's going on, see if there's any seagrass. Right now, looking at the water, it's fairly clear for the amount of rain we've gotten. Yeah, it's looking pretty good right now. So uh, got a little headwind the boat go into, so I got a little paddle. So here we go. I'm in a little mangrove cove near Black Point. And even with the, God, we've had a week and a half of rain. If you look at the water, I'm very happy. It is it is clear. And we're only a couple miles from the inlet. And there is some grass. There's some grass coming up here and some grass, of course, a lot of algae too. If you, I'm not sure if you can see it behind me. But um, I'm very happy with what I've seen. I know down south of here, um, Fort Pierce, St. Lucie, Jupiter, they're dumping tons of water out the inlets right now and uh, it's just destroying the lagoon again. Up here we did build Headwaters Lake and that's a lake if you've seen all the bass I've been catching lately I've been fishing that and that's supposed to hold all the water and then send it up the St. John's River and it's doing its job now because the only water that has gone into the lagoon here is just local runoff. None of the water from out west has been drained through the C-54 canal. Now last year was the first year it really was fully open and they said in the beginning that they would only have to dump water in one in 100 year storm and little did I know that 100 year storm was that first year it was really open but um, this tropical depression coming in I will be out in another week to check it out see what's going on but if you look and you can see you can see sand and then you can see the little dark areas where there's some grass, most of it is like an algae, but even algae is something for the bait fish to hide in. It may not be the best, but it's something that's just better than just plain sand. And the fact that we still got some visibility and uh, the sunlight is getting to the bottom means it's gonna continue to grow. So, you know, my I, I got a good outlet, um, outlet, a good outlook for this uh, coming weekend. Hopefully, yeah, we're going to get a lot of rain. Hopefully it goes up naturally up to St. John's River. And that's why they opened that uh, 10,000 acre reservoir right next to Stick Marsh Farm 13. It's to hold the water back and send it down naturally so you don't have to dump it in the Indian River Lagoon. So looks like it's working. So I'm definitely going to keep an eye on it. I'll be out here next week. Check it out. See what's going on. Now I'm going to get to the black point to the spot. I'm going to put the cameras down and uh, see what is growing on the bottom. I'm curious. Well, put the cameras under the water and uh, pleasant to see that uh, there is stuff growing. I'm not sure what it is. I think most of it's algae, but uh, I'll have to check the uh, the footage out and uh, you know see what's going on. But uh, very happy to see the clarity was a lot better than what I expected. Um, so I'm very happy with that. And uh, with this little tropical system coming through this weekend, I will be out next week to see how it looks out over here and uh, if any luck at all catch a few snook trout and redfish they're here i seen them can't believe it i'm sight fishing after all this rain that's unbelievable anyway this is pete hink there's some fish right over there busting um, i'm gonna go catch a redfish so until next time we'll see ya